Hey, Kenneth here. Did you know that the practice of psychology is not regulated in Singapore? Anyone may call themselves a psychologist and practice. So having worked at James Cook University for almost two years now, one of the common questions I get asked is, is this course eligible for SPS membership? Well, yes, if you apply for the course and get enrolled, you can apply for the student membership. But over time, I actually realized that what many people were asking is, would the course make them eligible for SRP registration? So, what are the differences between the two? For one, the SPS membership well, has four different levels. On the other hand, the Singapore Register of Psychologists registration requires applicants to have completed a master's in applied psychology and completed 1,000 hours of practical training as part of the course. So as you can see, the disparity is quite wide from simply being a student to actually completing a master's program. Yep, so I hope that kind of clears up the difference between SPS membership and SRP registration.